Hacksaw Ridge, done by Mel Gibson, directed by him again. <laughs> After, what was the last thing he was in? That's a, almost a decade now since uh, 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 Apocalypto. Apocalypto, that's how you say it. How can you forget that? That was an amazing yeah. film. It's almost a decade since he directed a film. Apocalypto was cool. I wouldn't like that. I, I liked it. Man. I like Apocalypto. I liked it I thought really it was a, a lot. I, liked I think it's it. awesome. I thought it was brilliant. It's just a shame he had his issues. <laughs> I think he might no, have you know, taken the film gets, off Mel Gibson gets a lot of bad press, but as a director, he's top class. He's okay. I mean, he's really good. He's done quite a few good films, even though some people have problems with Passion of the Christ. Um, Braveheart. He, he did Braveheart. Braveheart was good, but that's a yeah. long time ago. Yeah, um, but it's still a good film. He acted in it, did it? Braveheart, Braveheart time, it hasn't really done so well. Mm, Braveheart, yeah. Passion of the Christ, good. Very good shots. I like the movie. It's more like a gory movie. Apocalypto was good. It's a slasher movie, man, Passion of the Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horror movie. It's got gruesome blood, man. It's like pretty gory and stuff. That was the whole point. I wait, I wait like two hours or something for that. <laughs> I was wondering how they're going to do it, but I didn't expect all that blood and gore. That was surprising. Oh, I see, right. You thought you were watching a horror film? Uh, when it came on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the re the re Christ really, it was really you saying holy, holy. <laughs> Hacksaw Ridge, directed by Mel Gibson. You know, the myth, the legend, probably racist as well. <laughs> Is it or Mel Gibson? Mel Gibson. I was going to say, he's <laughs> but not I don't a, know. Desmond Doss is a factual, true story, it's which not... is kind of surprising because that came out of the blue. I didn't expect, never knew about him. It's one another story that we don't know about from World War Two. Yeah, II. true. There's probably plenty more out there that we have don't know about yet. Either that, or they're just making it on the fly, Hollywood. When you showed me the trailer bar, I was laughing my ass off. I thought this is ridiculous. Yeah, people with ninja kicking uh, grenades and whatnot. Andrew Garfield, and I can't remember what. The other woman's name was in it. She's Teresa Palmer. And what's she in? She's wonderful. Oh, she's in Warm Bodies and other stuff I haven't watched. Warm bodies. Oh, yeah. She's definitely got a Warm Body. Warm Bodies, Sorcer Sorcerer's Apprentice, stuff like that. So oh, she's uh, in Sorcerer's uh, Apprentice. Australian, oh, Australian. She's, uh, so she's a great actress, great actress. It's all that Nick Cage in her. Oh, I only recently seen the film, but you guys have seen it some time ago, haven't you? Uh, I think it was last week, was it? Yep. There you go. I only saw it a couple of days ago. Hmm. But i got to say, it, great film, great film. It's in two parts, really, to me. It's in two parts. The first bit is about Desmond Doss, his family life, and how he becomes the soldier, or his training, etc. And then the second part is obviously the heroic scene where he saves all the soldiers. That's To me, the, the war scene and the pre-scene where he's training and stuff, it's, two, it's a film of two halves, Mo. Film of two halves, sir. Yeah, it is. It's like <laughs> Apocalypto, but... No, the beginning made me laugh so much especially the acting from the dad um who is uh hugo mr anderson <laughs> yeah was it hugo weaving yeah yeah He's, hugo weaving looked terrible i mean he was good and bad at the same time i mean when he was telling his story he was doing it well but some bits it's just i think i was just thinking about the trailer as well it just made me laugh sometimes for some reason <laughs> the like horrific it. story that I'll he put, was saying i'll put it a bit more blatantly hugo weaving and some of the thing itself the thing the, the film um a lot of it was really overly melodramatic it just felt really cheesy at times especially hugo weaving's parts um there's a lot of even though you are invested in the character but a lot of the time when the dialogue comes out of his mouth especially with that accent that uh, andrew garfield was doing you do feel this is really cheesy i know they're going for an oscar and stuff but it just seems quite cheesy the dialogue was well, the mother was Rachel Griffiths, who's a good actress, six feet under. But she didn't. She was just like doing most of the reaction shots and uh, just here and there. But she was. She. I mean, there was a lot of actors in this. There was um, cameos by um, what do you call it? Uh, what's his name? Guy from Terminator. Revelations, not Revelations. Terminator, the the one Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Yeah, what was he, the guy's name? <laughs> the guy, the Avatar guy, Jake, Jake Scully. Yeah, Sully. What's his real Sully? name? I can't remember his name now. Oh God, it's been that long. He used to be the the man in the moment. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he had a good agent for a while. Mm. So he's in there. Then there's uh, um, the guy from um, Van Helsing and uh, Mission Impossible Two. Richard Richard something, the Australian actor. He played the psychiatrist. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. He's in. He's a. Uh, he does. A, he has a very small cameo, but he's he's a, he's in there. And then Vince Vaughn, of course, doing the worst Full Metal Jacket drill sergeant. 
stuff. I mean, it shows how hard that drill drill sergeant thing was. The role, you mean? Yeah, the role that Arlie Ermy played in uh, Full Metal Jacket. You start, you know, now and again, quite a few times, you just start seeing, oh, it's... They're overly cooking this. They're overly <laughs> saying that one line. They're overly doing this. It's like, I don't know if Mel Gibson's trying to look for an Oscar or... Do you think this is the way to do it? But his other films have had better acting in it than this has. No, I, I, I think yeah. I was surprised by some of the cast members, but I think they they acted it quite well. And I agree with you. It has a lot of sentimental touches to it, but he doesn't go. He, he steps. He doesn't go over the line. In in my in my opinion, he doesn't go too over the line. I mean, I don't know what about you guys, but I don't know whether you would class this in the same realm as uh, Platoon. Uh, Full Metal Jacket, uh, or any of the uh, Apocalypse Now, would you class that within this? Hell no. It's really good, it's well shot, good death scenes, really gory, and the way, it's, it's quite inspirational how he did it. That was that was the thing that shocked me, I was like, okay, he's gone through all the Mel Jacket parts, he's getting to, building up to the moments when um, he ends up having to do his thing, you know, going, going up there, and uh, shooting all these Japanese people down. It became really, really gory. I didn't expect it to get that gore. Yeah, uh, but it, I, it just—it's it's like touching Rambo territory. Yeah, but I think yeah, it but that has was to good. be because that it's was based good. on the fact that it's from the doctor's perspective in war. That's why it's a bit gory. Yeah, yeah it's from the doctor's medic, perspective. Yeah, and that's what makes it different from other war films because it's from the medic's perspective, and uh, and and I don't know whether you guys know, but Mel Gibson put his own hand in his pocket to get three handheld cameras to do the scenes for the war scenes. Took him nineteen days to film it. Mm. That's brilliant, man. He's won yeah. Oscars for Braveheart, which I didn't like. I think that spoiled for me because everyone told me so much about it before I watched it. So that's probably why I don't probably like it it's as a much. A bit of bias on it. Yeah, you know, I've already know what's happening. I was like, oh my god, someone's told me about that. But his movies are good. Passion of the Christ, um, even though it's very controversial. I don't know why because Apocalypse. Hollywood casts everybody else in stereotypical yeah. roles. Hispanics, Muslims, you know, English people. I think Suits. I think it's more to I do mean, with it's controversial for the Christian society, I guess. Yeah, but he no, gets for the Jewish side, not the Christian side. No, he, there's a lot of people, Catholic people, who literally barred the film because they said it's just a bit over the top. Mm. I think it's more to do with the fact that it was really gory, and just look thought it was um, um, just deliberately gory for no purpose, just to show. Sure. Mm. Like I said, some of the acting, like I said, some of the lines are over dramatic. Maybe they needed it in different languages because the different language movies are really good. Yeah. Uh, his English movies in the English language are not good, but but uh, you know, yeah, Andrew I mean, Garfield's I mean, good. language movies what? have done two, Passion of the Christ and Apocalypto. Mm. I keep on forgetting that Passion, Passion of the Christ, Christ is not in English, is it? It's like Arnie should make a German language movie. It would win an Oscar. Probably Do you really will. think so? I'm not joking. <laughs> you will. <laughs> you just the English gets in the way, unfortunately. I, 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 I don't think he'd be winning win an Oscar for a German. I would. Film. I would bet you that if he made a German language movie, he would get an Oscar nomination. I'm Arnold not. I'm not being. I'm not being. Silly. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ars Arnold Schwarzenegger. The Arnie. The Arnie. The Terminator. Yeah, I don't think he's ever going to make Jesus. one. But if he no, makes no, one, no, where no, no. he's is he he, he is, will he, even. He's been smoking something. Bro. No, even <laughs> even even a best supporting actor nomination, he would get it. Even if it's a small role, if he does a German language movie where he speaks German, I bet yeah, he'll smash it. Well, no more cocoa for him. Yeah. <laughs> well, why are you putting the cocoa? <laughs> <laughs> Is he sniffing or he, drinking it? He does what he does, and you do what you do. I don't know. It's one of those. Maybe it's just accents. Maybe just after Jackie or something that gets on my nerves. It's that. I don't know. I don't know what accent it was. What accent it was? was it was southern. It was Virginian, but he was good. He was good. I thought he was. It was annoying. Was it just felt fake. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's the way I saw it, or the fact it was a bit tired, or maybe not. <laughs> but um, I saw it, and it just felt like it felt really, really bad. <laughs> to me, it just felt over dramatic. Uh, besides the fact that it went all gory and everything, even then I was a bit desensitized. Mm. Maybe just it felt really Rambo like. Was that from the Passion of Christ you were desensitized? No, I think it's because of Rambo desensitized. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> to see the blood everywhere, okay. even though they had some uh, real good makeup effects and everything, um, some good explosions. Even though I think I'm just tired of explosions. I wanted something more, something 
more to do with his character, not just um, showing like almost an over an hour of just gore. And uh, before all that, you had the, the reasons why he didn't want to pick up a weapon, why he didn't want to... Well, he's a conscientious objector, isn't he? Yeah. But um, it just didn't quite hit the mark. It just differed now and again. It got there other times. The acting was really just a pain for me, especially Vin, uh, Vince Vaughn. His drill sergeant thing was just, I've seen this before. I've seen this done better. That was the main uh, thing. That, that was a, a letdown for me, I think. Yeah. That was a letdown. A lot of it was felt like I've seen it before and I've seen it done better. But this is still well done in its own way. I, I, uh, uh, well, from what I've read, at one of the um, premieres, um, the son of... Rambo. At the at the the premiere, so to speak, at the the filming, and uh, and he actually cried after the film because he said the uh, Andrew Garfield and the story depicted his dad very well. So mm. you know you have to go by the people who knew. That's fine. That that's fine. But you yeah. do know the fact that. Well, yeah, everybody's somebody's... gonna have their own opinion, obviously. But he, the, judging by a person who knew, um, you know, Desmond Doss personally, and says that you know. He he was very touched by the movie, and he thought that the the performance was well on the mark. Yeah, I mean, that. I mean, I can see he could have made it ridiculous, and 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 yeah. Garfield, I think he did. It could have been excellent. A, it could have yeah. been a movie about my dad if we had to see, and I would have been touched anyway, just because of the fact that they <laughs> read that um, they wanted to make the movie years ago, like seventies and eighties, and he turned it down because he he didn't like the way other filmmakers were making it. So Mel Gibson, obviously. Well, him Mel Gibson basically did another Braveheart where he took out some bits out of from fictional stuff and some of the worst parts out of it. Maybe I don't know. I'm, no. I'm, I'm in the trailer. If you watch the trailer, yeah, he can't. He, was, he wasn't there actually at the scenes themselves when they occurred. He has no, to I mean I don't. I don't know if uh, personally I don't know the full extent of the story and right. how it went. It's not as if it's. Well, did you see the footage at the end of the film? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, but yeah. I'm on about that's just a bunch of pictures and a couple of footage. That's a documentary but, probably yeah. about that. So. But uh, yeah. I don't know too much about the the real life person, but when it comes to this film, he seems very favourable, and I don't know either way because I've seen Braveheart as well, and I remember some of the stuff that was taken out of it to make uh, Winnie Wallace look more favourable. And mm. I know Mel Gibson well, known for that. So. Yeah, I think. I not think that I'm trying to say. Not, no. I seem as if I'm just taking the mick out of this guy, but you know, I did no, enjoy I the think, film. I, I think you did enjoy the film. I did you enjoy the film. You didn't like you did at the moment. I just, I don't know. <laughs> just talking about the real life. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean saving about seventy-five people without a rifle. Yeah. When all your mates, are, all your mates have gone. I think no, no, that, you no, can't no, make that, that guy less favourable. He seems like a nice guy. Probably was like that, and he had to take all that rubbish. I've got to say, Mo, that number varies depending on who you speak to. It varies from 50 to 100. So they went, during the filming, they decided to go, because they didn't know whether it was 50 or 100, so they decided to go in the middle with 75. Oh, so he, oh, right. obviously he couldn't remember how many people he dragged no, out so. because it was a yeah. tense thing. And okay. remember, if you see the document at the end and, uh, and the way he talks, he's very, um, he, he doesn't want to take credit for what he did. He doesn't you know, want to be honoured in any way. He just says, you know, I did what I did. You know, there are far more braver people who are buried in the cemeteries. Yeah, it seems yeah. That like I, that's not, that's what I think about. I think he just seems like a cool guy, like a regular sort of. Yeah, dissing him. I'm no, I'm not even dissing him. I'm just saying that. No, say I didn't see anything. Even though, yeah, fantastic. I like the way it was filmed. I like the story itself. I just think acting wise, I don't think it was that great, and so I wasn't as invested. I was invested the character himself, the main character. But as for the whole thing, all together as a cohesive movie, it was very. Oh, I like it a lot. It's a great movie, but okay. In, no, terms, of, in terms of acting, you don't think Andrew Garfield's going to get a nod for Best Actor? He shouldn't because there's much, much better people and much better acting. Well, he, he the, the, this year's Oscars. I mean, no, yeah, yeah, about, uh, yeah absolutely. This year's the, the, Oscars. They've so got, who, who are you saying then? They've got a nomination. He's got a nomination, and he yeah, has he got uh, an Oscar nomination. Yeah, he has, and so has Mel Gibson. Guess who was in this film as well that you may have missed? Who? Milo. Milo Gibson. And he is Mel Gibson's son and he played Lucky Ford in the film. What? First time they collaborate, you know, been in the film together. Lucky Ford. Direction and... I can't remember which character it was. Of, I, I can't remember which one it was, but... It, I think it sounds like the one that yeah. probably uh, was an arsehole to him. Probably. 
Do you think? I couldn't. I didn't recognize any of uh, Milo. Uh, really? uh, you know, I don't know. Mel I, I can't remember the other. So the guy who's now so was the guy who's um, Sully or Sully or whatever his name is. Oh, Jake Sully. God, what is his name? His name man? is Jake Sully. No, the the Sam body. Worthington. I got That's it. That's it. My God. Sam, Finally, Sam, Sam Worthington. Worthington. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. He, it's another film that he's actually in. <clears throat> he's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was brilliant. But I mean, I know you were saying, well, about the sentimental nature of the film, but I'd, I think he just pitched it just right. Not too, not too much. He didn't go over the line, you know. And he had harrowing scenes, which you know are reminiscent of the early scenes of Saving Private Ryan. Um, and, and did you know the other thing? Some of the scenes where the Japanese soldiers are coming over the the ridges, mm-hmm. he took that from the the Last Samurai footage. What? Okay. Some of the clips that he used oh, really? are from the Last Samurai footage. What, he just took the he took clips from the same movie? Well, I don't know whether he was on the f- uh, footage that, was, well, that wasn't used. Stock footage. Uh, but he, he stock footage? Yeah, what? stock footage. He used it from the Last well, Samurai. How do you have them in uniform? Well, I don't know. No, no, because some of it's blurry, isn't it? Fog and stuff. And, and they're coming, but yeah. don't so they have swords? Yeah. I don't know. He used it? That's some that, that's that's a, that's a, that's well, you know, obviously I, w- I don't think it's as good as Apocalypse Now, but I would put it on the line in a, in a par. Wow, with you would actually put it on the line. Okay. okay in what, par what, with what, Saving what Private Ryan and, right. um, you know, and Platoon, I'd put it on along those lines. Mm. No, I, not I, Platoon. I Saving Private Ryan, I'd, I'd put it on along. Saving Private Ryan is good, but then in some ways he's forgettable as well. So you'd Someone. put it alongside Saving Private Ryan? Yeah, I would say it's like Saving Private But not Private. Platoon or... I wouldn't put it next to Apocalypse Now. No, no. Apocalypse Now and Platoon is a gold standard, I think. Of war movies? Yeah. What mm-hmm. about Full Metal Jacket? That that also as well. And That's like uh, a training war movie. And, 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 and Born of the Fourth of July is a, is a gold standard as well. Yeah. yeah. Those those movies are like, wow. How about Casualties of War? No, <laughs> that was just De Palma... <laughs> I liked it. It, it was, like it was okay. It was good. What about Black Hawk? Da- what about Black Hawk Down? That was uh, a, that was an act of fiction. <laughs> what did, no, no, I'm just saying. So, so was, you know what? That, that was like it was a very well shot movie, but it was the they de- defamed Pakistan and Malaysia with that with that film. Oh, I don't dig that. You don't dig. But, do you not dig Black Hawk Down? No, it was it was made because it came out just after nine eleven, so they had to say, oh, you know. America, this and America, America. But you know, they were there was footage. I just didn't like the movie anyway. No, no, I, I think it's it beautifully okay. shot, and I think what about Black Hawk Down? The tension's good, uh, Black Hawk Down, but I don't think so. I well, don't think well, well, okay, just hypothetically speaking, if you were to compare Black Hawk Down with Hacksaw Ridge, which one would you say would be? I mean, obviously, Black Hawk mm. Down never got an Oscar nomination or a nod or anything. No, did it? it did. Did it? Uh, best director. Really best director. Oh, but not as a not, not as a film. I don't think no. no. So the thing is, he's he's the, the, there's scenes where they're really hot, you know, shown like they're as, really hot. <laughs> no, no shown like as Americans getting their putting their way in front of civilians, but they were shielding civilians. They were using sh- civilians as human shields. Yeah, That's but what facts. about as a work of fiction? It doesn't matter if it's because not going to judge something because it's real life or true life or not. So I'm just going to take it as a work of fiction. So as a work of fiction, Black Hawk Down, does it work? Of course it works, man. No, no. Um, but uh, Apocalypse Now is not based on a true story, is it? It's taken from a book. Well, it's based on Heart of Darkness, isn't it? Conrad, yeah. whatever. Right. Um, where he, That one's set in mm. the Congo, I think, isn't it? Africa. Yeah. So yeah, it's the yeah, same. Yeah. It's about a, a boat ride. Cause that's where the similarities... And they they got a character called Kurtz in there as well. So that's where they got mm. the name from. So it's just li- taking a little bit from that, but making it their own their yeah. their own yeah their own fictional story. But the best war films are the ones where it's like the synopsis of the hero's journey. You know, he he's young. He goes on an adventure. He achieves success and comes back a hero. Those are the ones that are successful, aren't they? In a way, but Platoon is against that. In no, that he, he doesn't. He go, go goes away. He doesn't have to go to war. Yeah, he doesn't have to go to war. And but then he goes on a uh, goes on a mission. He finds himself. He saves. Does he say? I think I can't remember. I now. don't he, think he, he saves much. The, that film is more. <laughs> that film is more about 
America fighting each other. So it's a metaphor for society, I think. The two, the two, two, two platoons, two leaders, uh, two two platoon. leaders for the two different platoons. Same platoon. Tom Berenger and yeah. uh, William Defoe. William Defoe. There's one country. platoon, but there's two uh, leaders, and they split it, like they split it in half, don't they? Mm, mm. And uh, it's you know, he's 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 a crusader type of thing. Which Holly Sheen, he's like, he is a rich kid who who doesn't have to be there, but he volunteers. But then. He sees what it's kind of like. It's a bit probably semi. So, where do you think this falls? Do you think it'll be remembered? Do you think you'll? I think it'll be remembered. I don't think, even for how good it is, I don't think it would be remembered. No, I think it will be. That I much. think it it will be remembered as one. For whatever of the, reason, I just one of the war films. I just think the the beginning of it, even though some bits are corny, some bits are good in the beginning as well. But I just don't really think it's going to be remembered unless I don't know. If it I wins Oscars, it's going to be remembered. But it won't win. I mean, you don't think it'll win. One Oscar no, no. is actually really remembered. Well, it's quite a lot of things. Um, they get a, they get an extra lease of life at the box office, don't they? Yeah. Once they win the That's box money office. wise, short term is good, but you know, it depends. I'd say it was. I wouldn't say it was a masterpiece, but I would say it was very good. Very good. Yes. So you would say good. I'll say good very as good. well. Very good. Good. It's just borderline excellent, but it's good. I would say it's good. I won't go towards excellence, but I'll say it's a good film. Yeah. It's a good watch. Yeah, you won't get bored out of it or anything yeah. like that. I recommend it. Yep, more Coco is good night for me. That's good, good night from night him. For me. Good night, night from me. And there we are. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Bye. You just watched Let's Talk Shorts, Night Reviews. Either hit the like button or the hate button. Just don't ignore us. Or leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you want more content or not or whatever. Either way, uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you.